сам не бьет. Посмотри, какой пас. Какой пас на Мюллера. И Мюллер забивает. Затолкали. Да, затолкали. Вот, вот Мюллер, связанное дело с чемпионатом мира, у Мюллера совсем по-другому. Управляет штрафную. Он, как здорово, Кеми. 2-0. Вот даже и Марио Гомес не нужен. Сборную забивает, и надо, чтобы он был таким красивым. Ну и все, уже надо подавать. Подумал, Фигеру удар головой. 3-0 в пользу сборной Германии. Снова Томас Мюнский. The perfect start to the second half for the world champions is absolutely maker in the German midfield. Jonas Hector sliding that one in. It's three. Muller has his second goal of the game. Germany home and dry, surely. And Muller right. Erzil. Muller Draxler broke his way, and there's the breakthrough. And it is the early goal that Northern Ireland dreaded, courtesy of Julian Draxler. Minor... Thought he was going to come up for the corner. Oh, and Hummels was up, and it's the second goal. And it's turned in by Sami Khedira. And within the space of five minutes, Germany may have claimed a winning advantage. Lovely ball forward, Sami Kadira into the penalty area, around the goalkeeper, and Germany are ahead after six minutes, and Sami Kadira gliding through the, the centre. He makes a last-ditch attempt to... ...on the pitch, dinked forward by Kadira, and Simoncini comes out. Gnabry with a chance, and he scores on his debut, and Germany lead 2-0 after eight minutes. Serge Gnabry... ...quite animated, constantly on the edge of the technical area. Germany threatening here, Jonas Hector! Makes it three. Uh, they did take it well. Excellent change of feet there by Hector, coming from the full-back position, breaking forward. That's a... All hands on deck as the ball's played into Gnabry, who sweeps it home. And Germany now lead by four goals to nil. And Gnabry on his international ball in play and keep the move going into Hector, who nutmegs the goalkeeper for his second goal of the night and Germany's fifth with 25 minutes to go. They lead by five goals to nil. Kadira. Into Gnabry. Oh, and he took that one beautifully for the hat-trick goal on his international debut. Here's Holland now, one of the substitutes. Uh, and it's an own goal of Mattia Stefanelli, the forward player who'd come back. And before he knew it, Muller's got two alongside him, squares it, chance for Volland, on the turn, it's eight, and Kevin Volland scores his first international goal for Germany as he wins his ninth cap. Well, there is an outside... ...championship qualifier, Turks, the place of White Hex is joining the attack, and there is the opening goal, Schürrle to get it. Germany get the breakthrough, it's taken them 19 minutes, they hadn't threatened much. They've given that away. Schürrle trying to measure it. Muller's got wrong side. And Muller puts Germany ahead. Superbly finished. Clinical from him. Like a precision. Qualification group. Kimmich getting this cross in. Oh, and it's a splendid header. Right into the corner. Beautifully done. Mario Gomez. Textbook style. Hector laid back. Schürrle again. Oh, finished brilliant goal. Wonderfully chance. fashioned. Again, hardly a celebration, just all in a day's work at the office for Germany. Two for Schürrle, four for Germany. Yeah. Make the block once again, and the blue wall initially wouldn't be beaten, but it's beaten the second time, and Germany's captain gives them the lead. Julian Draxler, just over ten minutes played, and the world champions are ahead. Wagner continues his run, and Kimmich has spotted him, and it's 2-0. Beautifully worked. And precisely finished into the far corner. And Sandro Wagner has his first international goal. It's and I like that as well because ultimately they don't want to hurt the opposition players. Germany quick to take it. Wagner with a great chance. It's 3-0. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not 
I'm not sure they're set for this. It's, it's all very well stopping the play, but I'm not sure you can allow them to take it up quickly when you're actually talking. The ball, isn't it? Yeah, he's read the play well. Oh, and uh, Benedettini at full stretch. And I'm in Eunice. Turns the ball home easily. And Eunice making his full... And they're not going to get one here tonight either. It's just a case of keeping the score down in this second half. And it's just out of the goalkeeper's reach. And Skodran Mustafi scores for Germany in the second minute of the second half. It's five. I think there's one or two appeals for... Goal directly himself. Well, he's made the run now, and it's been guided home by Julian Brandt. Germany six, San Marino nil. Professionalism. Ball in, and this time it does find the back of the net into the far corner, and Sandro Wagner has a hat trick. There's been a few sighters at this head up. Penalty area already here. Jonas Hector back into Mesut Ozil. Oh, it was beautifully done. Guided home by Mesut Ozil for his first international goal of the year. Oh, absolutely. Surroundings as former Stuttgart players. Here's Mesut Ozil, the scorer of the only goal so far. Lovely turn, beautiful goal. That was absolutely sensational from Julian Draxler. And Germany are two up inside 17 minutes. Could be a very long night for Norway. Now, Crows. Left by Muller and finished off and put into the back of the net by Timo Werner. And Germany are making short work of Norway here. 3 0, just 20 minutes play. Muller with the delivery. And the header for number four from Timo Werner, his second of the night. Germany have got four in this first half and we still have six minutes to go. Position down. Quick turn there by Draxler and the header home by Leon Goretzka, who's only been on the field for just under five minutes, and that's how. In it goes. Gomez is there. It's number six. Well, they were patient. They took their time. Pass after pass after pass, and then. Chick. But there's some space here for Germany, and perhaps a first chance of the match, and a first goal coming inside the opening four minutes of the game. Timo Werner. Well, I did say that they really couldn't afford to concede within the first 20 minutes. Flicked in by Crows towards Max Hummels, who scores for Germany. Three minutes from time, their lead is restored. And just as the Czech Republic looked as if they were going... Might come to Crows, edge of the box. Oh, and it's an absolutely stunning hit from Rudy. He could not have caught it any sweeter. And Michael McGovern. So in charge and in control, and it's Wagner with a beautiful first touch. Oh! oh. It's an absolutely magnificent goal again. And the game. Absolute sense of arrogance about it. It's Panhart's cross and a vital header by Evans. It's Kimmich! And it's the third. Well, somehow he squeezed it in. And adds uh, another layer of gloss for the Germans. Kimmich, who scored the third goal against Northern Ireland the other day. Sula went for it. Oh, what a goal! That's absolutely outstanding from Leon Goretzka. Tidy, crisp passing. Brandt into Wagner, and it's headed off the line. Germany claimed that it's gone over the line. The goal line technology will be called in, and the goal is given. Sandro Wagner makes it 2 1. Well, he knew it was over the line. But what a good bit of play it was. Here's the combination. And it comes from Kimmich then towards Antonio Rudiger. And the nil deflection carries it home. 3 1 Germany. And the substitute Rudiger getting on the end of that one. Straight to Brandt into Zane. He's onside. And there's a chance for four. And it's put away by Goretzka. And suddenly. Germany are running away with this game. 4-1 winners in Baku in the reverse fixture. 4-1 ahead. It's Ginta. Emre Can. He'll have a crack from here. And it was worth it. What a goal. A long-range special from Emre Can. It's 5-1 for Germany. Yeah.